raising money in support of the next generation of social workers. That's the mission of next week's You've Got a Friend Scholarship Gala. And here with the details is Janelle Weinstein and Courtney Stenzel. Uh, thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I am so looking forward to talking about this event. I, I'm, I'm happy that we heard about it and that we can showcase it. Um, this is a first of its kind. It is. This is our first year. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, so Janelle, this event, um, it is very important to you and your entire family. Right, uh, So is. give us a little bit of background on uh, why you wanted to do an event like this, how it all got started. So last year my family and I wanted to do something to honor their dad, Gary. So I reached out to Transitions, um, the co-CEOs, Christy Rogers and Ann McNellis. Um, and ask them if they'd be willing to partner with us in coming up with an event to honor Gary, because Gary was the previous CEO for 32 years at Transitions, so we thought it'd be a really good fit. And uh, so I shared with them Gary's background on how he became a social worker. Yeah. So it was a five-year journey where he worked two part-time jobs. Wow. He had a student loan out. Um, he did get a little bit of help from family members. But it was five years of you know a really long working five years, a yeah. long five years, and uh, when he graduated, um, he wrote to his aunt and uncle who had given them the money, and he offered to repay it. And they said, um, "No need to do that. Please just pay it forward." So I talked to um, Anne and Christy, and Anne's like, "This is perfect. We are going to do a scholarship um, on his behalf oh, wow. to help him pay it forward." Uh, Gary had worked at St. Ambrose University in the MSW program for 25 years, mentoring the students, wow. teaching classes, and so it was a perfect fit. So yeah, now we can go ahead um, with everybody's help from the community to help him continue to pay it forward. Really, really special that, that uh, you thought to do this. Um, and Courtney, uh, tell us more about Transitions, uh, where Gary spent so many years of his life. Yeah, so um, Transitions has been around in our community for over 40 years. Wow. We're a nonprofit, community-based mental health uh, treatment center. And we provide services uh, starting to those as early as five, all the way up the ladder. And we offer an array of services. Our services are very client-centered. Um, goal setting is something that we focus on with all of our clients, okay. but also moving at the same pace that they need to move um, in order to achieve those goals. So we offer therapy services, counseling, psychiatric services. We have a residential program. We do outreach. We do um, uh, employment program. Uh, we're involved with the mental health courts on both sides of the river. Wow. So we offer an array of services for um, all of the clients' needs. I, you know, working in this industry in, in social work, um, in mental health services of any kind, that is a very difficult, difficult job to do. Mm -hmm. um, and you are helping so, so many people in need by doing that job. Um, so it, it only seems fitting to want to give a gift to a student that actually looks at that job, that difficult mm -hmm. job, and says, "I want to do this. You know, I want to. I want to make this. You know, part of my career." And um, so it, it is. It is really special, and I can't believe you know something like this hasn't happened before. But you're doing it now, and it's exciting. Uh, so the event, the gala, mm -hmm. um, is happening next week. So tell me a little bit more about what people can expect. Yeah. So the event is next Thursday, September 19th. We're holding it at the Rogalski Center. Very nice. Only fitting yes. um, with Gary working there. So. Um, ev the ev evening will start at 6 p.m. We'll open up with a cocktail hour. 6.30, we have heavy hors d'oeuvres and um, some live entertainment. And then uh, 7 o'clock, we'll start a presentation and wrap that up by 8 and have Funktastic 5 come in Very and nice. take us out for the evening with some live music. That is awesome. Yeah. What do you think Janelle uh, Gary would say about all of this, if, if he could? Well, that's what I was asking him this morning while I'm getting ready. I'm like, you know, we really didn't have a conversation about this at some point. Um, but I think the fact that we have encompassed everything about him, um, transitions was a passion of his, mm -hmm. teaching students was a passion of his, and we wanted to do um, a fun event, yeah. uh, and so my daughter's like, yeah, let's do cocktail, cocktail hour, cocktail music, cocktail dress, cocktails, yeah. because it, we just want to um, want make it fun, mm -hmm. and he would have loved to have done that. Um, our son, Jeremy, will be playing the live music during the cocktail hour, wow. um, so that's exciting. Dana has helped out with the planning of the event, and I did tell my oldest son, Ben, that yes, you get to speak, and I wrote it all out for you, <laughs> and he's like, you're not asking I'm like oh no I don't <laughs> I'm, ask I'm telling um, you know I, moms get to do that that's exactly right so I think having um, 
Their input through all of this has been amazing. Working with Transition has been phenomenal. They Good. are a fantastic staff, and Courtney has just been amazing putting all the details together. It will yeah. be a fun event that we hope that people from the community years will and years come. to come exactly. uh, hopefully yeah absolutely and um, people can still get tickets to this absolutely okay. um, we have almost hit our goal so we're getting close to being sold out okay uh, so if anybody's interested they're welcome to go to our website uh, they can purchase tickets directly through there we will have some available the night of in case somebody's plans cancel and they decide yeah. they want to join us um, but yeah we're really excited about it we know that uh, Gary would be really proud of us for yes. doing this and um, Although he never loved to be the center of attention, <laughs> um, he, he will be really happy with the outcome of the event and the paying it forward. Um, wow. Something yeah. very near and dear to his heart. Yeah, and I think uh, near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, too. I mean, this mm -hmm. you know this really impacts a lot of folks. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people even watching today will say, I want to be a part of that. So we, we just had the website mm -hmm. on the screen for transitions. And here's the information for the You've Got a Friend Scholarship Gala. It is next Thursday, September 19th at the St. Ambrose Rogalski Center. It runs from 6 to 10 p.m., and those interested in attending should try and get your tickets purchased by this Friday, Friday the 13th. That's an easy way to remember. Uh, the web address is there on the bottom of your screen. Janelle and Courtney, thank you for talking with me today. Thank, thank you. I really so appreciate much. it. I have a feeling it's going to be just an annual thing. We're looking yes. forward to it.